everybody, I'm Chloe. I'm, uh, I'm studying uh, biomedical science at Hong Kong U, and today I'm going to excite you with the science of sleep. How many times would you press your snooze button before you wake up in the morning? If you're like me, that would probably be a lot. <laughs> People like us were known as late chronotypes. We sleep when we hear birds sing, and we wake up when lunch is ready. We're famous for breaking the snooze buttons, and even if we wake up early in the morning, we don't function well. It's not just my problem. For late chronotypes like us, our bodies think that a day is longer than 24 hours. This is my internal clock, and it's determined by my genes. Yet externally, the world runs with the cycle of 24 hours a day. So when my body tries to fit this more than 24 hours clock into the world clock, it has to compress mine before it can fit in. This makes us later chronotypes. So last summer, my late chronotype friend went farming in a remote area in Taiwan. He spent his whole day under the sun and his night under the stars. He came back as black as a charcoal. But then he told me that he was sleeping and waking earlier those days. How come? So, in our eyes, in the eye, there are two kinds of, there are three kinds of receptors. Two for vision, one for light. This one for light is known as melanopsin receptor. So when light goes to our eyes, they hit these melanopsin receptors. And these receptors tell our brains about the intensity of light that we're receiving so that our brains can adjust our internal clock according to the light we see. Different intensities of light affect our sleeping habits. And note that sunlight is much more stronger than indoor lighting we have. So what does this have to do with anybody? Well, as city people, we tend to work most of our day in environments, in inner environments like offices, schools, and at night we absorb a lot of light because of light pollution and because of our glaring cell phones. And in the morning we absorb so much less light than normal sunlight. And with that, late chronotypes become even later. Yet for my friend, it was completely reversed. He absorbed more sunlight during the day and much less during the night, and he became an earlier chronotype. So, so even us late chronotypes, we can become earlier just by changing our habits. Which chronotype are you? Well, you can check it out by just throwing away your alarm clock during holidays, and then logging down when you sleep and when you wake. The hour in between would be your chronotype. So if you're like us, late chronotypes, I suggest that go, you can go out and spend the day in the sunlight and now you can thank me later when you don't break your snooze button.